Hi there viewers, welcome back to Face to Face, your favorite English talk show at BNews TV. My name is Sophia and I'll accompany you for approximately one hour. So let's get on to our topic today. We're, so we're going to talk about something that we meet, we engage every day, we see every design, so we see art. And here we're going to talk about a specific art, which is semi-realism or realism. And here we have a special guest today, Mr. Mario. Yes. Hi. Hi. How do you feel today? I'm feeling fine. Fine. It's you're, fine. you're looking good because your exams have ended, right? Yes. It's been <coughs> Mine a has day. not, and I'm <laughs> desperate to finish it quickly. And I can see the brilliance from your face brimming. Oh, oh okay. my Thank exams you. are done. <laughs> yes. I can see that you're happy. Okay. Mm. So before we start out a little bit chit chat about your life and my life, probably mm. mixed together before that. So maybe you can introduce yourself so that viewers might know you a lot okay. more. I'm Mario. I go by Metamorphet on my art account. You can s you go see my art on Instagram or Facebook by that page. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That's yeah. really short. <laughs> yes, because Probably I like to keep it simple. Oh, mm. I see. Probably the most sim uh, the simplest one I've got okay. in my whole series of face to face. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, how's your studies doing? I'm um, bad. Bad? <laughs> no, um, I mean, it's been a tough time doing mm -hmm. my studies because uh, I really <coughs> prefer doing my personal work beside my, st my studies on oh, my well, university. We all do that, don't yeah. we? <laughs> we all love that. We all love do what we like best yes. instead of our obligation. Yep. Well, I like more to my writing okay. instead of doing literature work, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> so how's your life so far? It's been great been great yes since kind my exam is over contrast <laughs> with your studies huh yeah <laughs> <laughs> but it's always nice to have a good life though yeah. have a good spouse there yes. have a good lover there <laughs> <laughs> i see well i have a good lover too okay <laughs> like let's say yeah. um how many 2d men do i have in my <laughs> folders it's like your it's husband very though. <laughs> yes my husband <laughs> uh, uh, quite a lot and the most frequently mentioned name would be one actual actual person okay but still too far from my reach. <laughs> so let's just say that it's a um, delusional um, lover, I guess. Dad, don't hate me for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so describe yourself in three words. Three words, three. I think it's like strong will. Strong will. Um, patience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, why are you starting laughing? Um, I'll explain that later. Okay, uh, patience <coughs> and Mm -hmm. Fun. Fun. Okay. Like These three don't quite mix together. Okay. But it's kind of special that you got it mixed in inside you. Yeah. Okay. Strong willed. Patience. Patience and, and fun. Yep. I understand a lot for the patience because you need to. You you really need to have that if yes. you're going to <laughs> success in your passion, right? Yes. We all need that. Yeah. I need my patience and my emotional control. Okay. <laughs> Definitely. Because yep. I need to fangirl every day. <laughs> you understand that, don't yep. you? Yep. <laughs> gotcha. So, who's your favorite artist? Mm, if I arrange it from like the garden style to more realistic style, mm -hmm. I'd be like Rostran. Mm -hmm. You know him? No. It's <laughs> on the YouTube, it's called Ross Draws. Uh, he draws like more cartoony style mm -hmm. and goes to the semi realistic style. It's how do you, do you pronounce it? It watch tech first. It's Russian. It's Russian. Yes. I don't know how to pronounce <laughs> Russian, but I know one Singaporean artist. Okay. If I'm not wrong, he's Art Singaporean. Art Germ. Yes. Yes. Who Art doesn't know him? Art Germ. He's wow, wow, like wow, 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 wow. I watch beast. his live stream for hours yes. and I don't get bored of it. I know. I wonder if he's watching this. Probably not. But <laughs> that's how. But he's wow, wow, wow. He's amazing. Yes. And and his artworks are wow, wow. wow. I it's can't say anything yes. other than wow. It's so amazing. He's been so experienced, like 50, I don't know, like 30 years or something. He really brings the character out of yes. the character, you know? I Ma mean, it's just yes. on one canvas, yes. but he makes it as if it's alive. Yes. I don't know how to it's describe that, but yeah, that's, that's exactly how it is. Yes. And, and there's another one. If I'm not wrong, she's from America or Canada. Mm -hmm. I forgot. Who is Saki it? Saki Oh, okay. It's his. She's literally really, like, like cute. Pro proportion, yes. proportion yes. master. That's like I like how 
she makes all those uh, weird proportions, mm -hmm. but it still looks wow. Yes, and, and the pose yeah. she took is really extreme. Yes, and yes. Stuff, she's really uh, f the fantasize about her. Yes, yes. yes. Fantasy yes. is her theme yes. and is her forty, and I like yes. how she draws all the characters, even all her own characters. They're yes. all so beautiful. I like how. All the women that she draws are also sexy, and it's just yep. so. I don't know. I don't know. I, I like sexy women. Well, okay. Uh, it Who might sound weird. It might. It might sounds weird, but yeah, I like seeing sexy women. But sexy in a in a way that it's well proportioned. Okay. That's why I like her. Yes. And I like her guys too. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be super blunt and honest about it. Like she draws everything really perfect in their own way. Yes. Like let's say if she drew Sephiroth, right? Right. Yeah, yes. she drew Sephiroth, she drew Tifa, she drew all the Final Fantasy characters who are my favorites. Oh, yeah. And I was, I was literally screaming when her page went up on my Facebook page, <laughs> and I was like, <gasps> It's so cool. I was like, <laughs> so, I was like fangirling. Yes. So, what do you fangirl at? What do you fanboy at? I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe K-pop idols. K-pop idols? Yes, maybe it doesn't like. My face doesn't Both show male, it. Both male, female? <laughs> no, no male. <laughs> okay, female. I only goes for Why though? I, I know they are very well proportioned. Okay, but, uh, I think it's just they're good. They're good at uh, what they do, and mm -hmm. they really, and I mean, it's my favorites, not uh, the uh, the others. But I think it's they so they're so. Okay, sorry. Uh, What's the word for it? Uh, <laughs> enchanting. Maybe? Enchanting. Yes, for me because it's like seeing them and oh my gosh, maybe it's like, it's like goddesses. Right, it's goddesses. Yes, it's like right. Like goddesses. Yes. I I do understand that, but I have one bias though. Okay. Who you know that? secret, right? Okay. Secret. I don't. Awesome. I, yes. Right. She's ah. Uh, she's so. She's well. Okay. I mean, she doesn't have to wear revealing clothes to be sexy. She's yes. sexy itself. And okay. like, <laughs> when well, whenever um, the signal came out, I was like, oh, oh my god, it's so beautiful. <laughs> like you know the, what was the song, the first single that she came out? Mm, I didn't listen to Secret very it's, it's much. It's pretty nice. It's okay. really nice. You need to I check will. it out. I'll listen to it. Well, in a sense, idols are kind of a piece of art. Yes. By God, right? Of course. Hmm. Talking about idols, though, do you draw them? Yes. Yes. Like a lot. <laughs> a lot. A lot. <laughs> mm, that's compared to the um, fiction characters mm -hmm. and idols. Who, which one do you draw most? Still mm. fiction or idols? I like to combine them both. Like, uh, mm -hmm. I like to draw idols with fantasy stuff. Like, mm -hmm. uh, maybe make make them elves or ah. make them halos and mix mecha. Ah, or I see. Yeah. That's, that's a nice combination. I'm okay. sure they will like it if it's you send it to their <laughs> Nobody replied me to. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just not that appealing yet. Mm. I need more to grow. Mm, probably. Maybe you can try and draw Emma Watson one day. I draw Anna Kendrick one day and she liked. Really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> you can you can challenge a lot more. Like Maybe you can draw Sherlock Holmes for me. Okay. Why not? Yay! Do I get it for free or do we need to talk mm. about business? Mm. Let's talk about it on <laughs> the next stage. <laughs> so it's business then. <laughs> so it's business. It's not for free. Ah, yes. Um, mm. okay. No, I'll do it free for you. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. I, I can't find girl here, obviously. Okay. So <laughs> I'll just <laughs> hold it back and be a kind of professional. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna talk a lot more about art after um, a short call break. Okay. So stay tuned at Face to Face.
Welcome back viewers to Face to Face. We're still here with Mr. Mario to talk about semi-realism in art. We're right. finally getting into the topic, right? Okay. So how long have you been producing art or artworks? Um, to daily basis of producing art, I think it's been like two years or three years. Two or three years and yes. you get that kind of masterpiece. We're going to show <laughs> uh, the viewers later on. It's We're not a masterpiece three yet. Years. No. It is. I mean, no. three years. I've been drawing for my whole life and I can't even get to that step. Maybe mm -hmm. you're... Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Thank you. It's for the flattering. But yeah, it's, not it's a compliment. It's a really huge compliment. Good. I mean, it's really good. I mean, comparing to my stick pins. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's like level one fighting with a dragon <clears throat> at level 200. <laughs> like, honestly. <laughs> So, um, two and three years you have yeah. been producing art and you've been quite the popular guy at Instagram. No. Pretty sure about that. Research about that. You don't lie to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you even got a new friend to recommend you to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. <laughs> you gotta <laughs> say thanks to him though. Thanks to Nicholas Andre. Yeah, right. okay. So, can you tell mm. us the moment when you first engaged with art, like when the first time when you became a fanboy for art and then you started become the producer for art? Mm, maybe if the first engagement you say is when I was really young, mm, maybe. Probably. It was because my dad used to draw a lot oh. and he draws like, uh, come here, look at my drawings. Mm -hmm. And he's like, mm, he, here, here, try, try. And I was like, okay. and. He was like, no, that's wrong, it's wrong. He criticized me a lot okay. uh, ever since, <laughs> until now, uh, when I stay up late and I was drawing and he wa woke up and like, is what that the what hell you is this? Yes. <laughs> is it really? what you draw all those years? <laughs> <laughs> dad, dad, he's amazing already. Which means your dad must be a great artist yes. during his time. Mm, he's not a really artist, but he really draws a lot and the proper her, his proportions are like really good, better than mine actually. Wow, we're gonna ask him to you know draw you sometimes. He <laughs> never wants to. Never wants to. No. Why, Dad? <laughs> Dad, why? He just draws like one sketches and like you go finish it. Dad, <laughs> no, <laughs> Dad, no. <laughs> why, Dad? That you can't do that. Well, my dad too. My dad taught me how to draw panda. <laughs> When I was like four, fourth grader, oh yeah? my dad taught me how to draw a panda for my final exam in art. Okay. And my mom was uh, it good? Mm, I guess so. I got eighty something. Okay, it was good. And then my mom taught me how to good. draw apple. Apple. Okay. <laughs> apple is not really round, but you can draw it round. I don't get it, but yeah. You can draw it like any way you want. Uh, with apples, you know. It can be it can be apple from the fantasy world, right? Yes. It can be anything. Yep. So, how did you get a passion or interest in semi-realism? Like, is it really from your father, mm. or is it you have you know your personal reason why you like it? Uh, for the semi-realism part, mm -hmm. it's because I tend to go on social media mm -hmm. and I play games and stuff. You know, on the games. Uh, they usually go like uh, it. Here goes fan art from here, mm -hmm. from from whoever it is. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. It was like wow, this was really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not the cartoon style, and, and it's not so real. It just combine both, and so it, it becomes semi-realism. Yes, and you can like mm, maybe it doesn't exist in this world, but it looks can, real. Yes, you can draw like a super big robots or. A super big beast, mm -hmm. but it still makes sense. Mm, you know? I, see. I, I do understand that. Like whenever we play like some kind of online games yes. with nice graphics, yes. everything is just so beautiful. Wow! And then you know they like to make that kind of um, character with um, you know um, cat ears and stuff. Yes. But it looks so realistic. Yes. And that's how I got my passion for cosplay. So that's another oh, story. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it looks so realistic, uh -huh. but it definitely doesn't exist in this world because mm. we are far. To we're far from fantasy. I wish we. <laughs> I wish I wish we're in fantasy. Like uh, maybe I will have a tail or two. <laughs> it's gonna oh. be weird though. 
I will so, want to transform. <laughs> so you got your interest semi-realism from looking at others' fan art when yes. they when you see others artworks in semi-realism. Yes. So it's not from your father. <laughs> so how different stuff. Well, yeah. So <laughs> how different is semi-realism with the popular manga style nowadays? We do um, see a lot of manga, manga style, everything is manga style, even yes. the webtoon is manga style a lot. Yes. So how do you differentiate? Um, how do they differentiate? It's I I'm not an expert on this, mm -hmm. but I think it's like a more simplistic style for a semi-realism style because uh, the proportion are still good, but still they can be exaggerated. Like mm -hmm. they exaggerate a lot. The eyes, obviously. Yes, the eyes, obviously. The hair and uh, the body. It's like sometimes the body is smaller mm -hmm. and the head is bigger, mm -hmm. or sometimes it depends on the, who the artist wants to be, wants the drawing to be. Mm -hmm. um, for me, the, the real differentiate is that the feeling that they give. The feeling. Like, yes, because when <coughs> you see some realism, <coughs> it's like, whoa, uh, it's real, but it's not. But but when uh, it's manga, <laughs> the story is real. The story is really good, but what you see is not real. uh, really real. It's, it's really cartoon. Mm -hmm. it, it looks really fictitious, while yes. semi-realism doesn't. It looks like yes. it's alive, right? Yes. But it's not exactly alive. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> if, only we, if only the drawing that we draw can pop yeah. up become live. Like, yes. well, I would draw my husband those. <laughs> I would draw them. Like, I would, I would spend my whole life drawing them. So they become real. Yeah, so they become real. But it terrified me. <laughs> I draw monsters in, in a lot reason. too. In the reason, so. yes. <laughs> in the reason, don't draw monsters then. Okay. Draw be beautiful goddesses. For okay. You. <laughs> Got it. So, um, how is the popularity of semi-realism compared to manga style? I think more over years. I think it's it depends on the depends. on the audience. Like. Uh, some people like manga more, uh, some mm -hmm. people like semi-realism more, it's up to them. And the art is like significantly different. different. Mm -hmm. So it's just people enjoy what, in what they enjoy, right? Mm -hmm. So they just pick, uh, maybe I like manga, but I can like both. Well, I like uh, yes. both. <laughs> yes, we like both. I like seeing Pretty Woman. Um, doesn't have a negative um, oh. intention, okay. Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> so, was it difficult for you to draw semi-realism when you first tried it? It was really hard. Really hard. Really hard. It's like, I honestly, before I entered this university, I mm. never even draw human. Really? Yes. What On do you my draw? high school, I was into gravity art mm -hmm. and street stuff. So I did. Maybe I draw an eye or an ear, mm -hmm. but never a full body human. And when I enter the university, I see my friends doing like, whoa, is that? <laughs> well, they're doing really great. I mean, that was bringing me a little down. Like, like oh, how, uh, I'm a potato. Yeah, or can I compare to, to carrot? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, uh, similarly, like carrot has um, nice hair. I don't have hair. <laughs> I do understand that, though. Yes. I mean, looking at your artworks, which we will look at it later on, I'm like, I'm a potato. No, I don't I'm say a potato. that. Potato, I can't even draw like that. No, you can. Everybody oh, can draw. Not comparing sticksmans. <laughs> 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 so when you first draw semi-realism, what was the hardest part for you? The hardest part is to start it. To start it. Yes, uh, I mean, um, let's draw. Like, like I was watching movie or listening mm -hmm. to music and. Mm, let's draw. And I was drawing and I need to eat and I left it over an hour and when I came back like Bored. Um this was wrong, this was wrong. I erased it all over again and I do it over again. Mm. So the hardest part is making start. a start for making it. Making a start for it. And for the drawing part I think hands. i I really suck at hands. I I suck at hands too. Yes. That was the most difficult thing. I don't know though. We draw. have all those tutorials yes. how to draw hands, but we still can't do it. I don't know why. Why? Why? I don't know. Why? Hands are like magical the things that we can't draw. Yes. I don't know. So, so, so it's it's still hands for you now. Yes, hands. 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 Comparing to other parts like yes. legs. Legs are. Yeah. We it's really cover really hard them with too, boots but though. Yes, but. Cover them with shoes and boots. Yes. 
it makes it less less harder. <laughs> yep. Mm, talking about the easiest part now. Okay. When you first started. Easiest and part. And comparing to now, what's the easiest part? Back then and now. Back then and now, it's still the same, I think. Still uh, the, the same. Yes, the easiest part is. The eyes. The eyes, and f no, the eyes are hard to make mm. the symmetrical eyes. Oh, you have no idea. Like it was really hard. But I have idea. About yeah, that. you draw mm -hmm. too. But I think it's the face. But the face. The face is more like easy, but mm -hmm. easier. But at the same time, it was hard because people tend to look at the face of the. The, picture. the shape, right? Yes. Uh, okay. So we're going to talk a lot more about the easiest part in drawing, okay. like in semi-realism and the comparison, and stay tuned at Face to Face. Hi there viewers, welcome back to Face to Face. We're still here with Mr. Mario to talk about semi-realism and the experience in it and a little bit of the techniques perhaps. So we were talking about the hardest part to draw. Right. It was to make a start and then yes. we're going back into the easiest part. So the easiest part was? Drawing faces. Drawing faces. Why yes. though? Um, I draw faces all the time. It's the most I draw. Mm -hmm. I draw faces the most because when you start, it's like Okay, start with the head. Start with the head. Yes, always start with the head. Do you start with the, you know, the lines, help, ah. help, helpful lines to draw the face? Or that's do you start with the eye? That's the one that I d can't. I can't do, like, with, if I draw the lines mm -hmm. to help me, it doesn't help me. Why? <laughs> I n never, I can't, I, I just, you just can't. You just draw directly? Uh, yes, I just draw, like, maybe the head goes here, maybe the head goes here. So what do you draw first? Like probably the lines, or do you draw the eye first? I draw the jaws. The jaw. Because it depend it depends on where you wa want the pose to be, like mm -hmm. where, uh, and the jaws really hinted at uh, where the this character is looking. Mm. So I draw the jaws first, I and then see. the chin and, chin the, and other. the upper part. Yes. I see. So do you think you work better in? Um, traditionally or digitally? Mm, I work better with, I think it's digital because mm. it's more forgiving, you know? More forgiving? Well, yes. we usually have control Z. Yeah. <laughs> you can undo, you can transform You can the undo, you can transform everything. Yes. But I personally like traditional though. I don't yes, know why. Yes, me too. Because it's like... I guess the, I don't know, it gets a kind of thrilling feeling, I guess. Right. Uh, and the frustration when we can't, yes. you can't tap Yes. Control Z. <laughs> yes, that's when you there. you're wrong, you have to erase the game and you have mm -hmm. to draw it again. It's like more cheerful. <laughs> well, well, in a sense, yeah. But I don't know. You know, holding a pencil makes you feel great yeah. as an artist. I don't know why. I'm not an artist, but I do like drawing, yes. and it makes me feel good. Yes, whether I'm drawing, whether I'm writing, I like pencil. I don't like pen. Go away, pen. Like I like pencil. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to see several of your works on the slideshow and then commenting the okay. moments or the experience when you draw them, when okay. you drew them. So let's see if it shows up. So what's oh, this? It looks really cool though. That one was for my, ha how do you say it? Uh, Portfolio? A task. Oh, a task. Uh, a task? That's yes. a task? Yes, that's my assignment for Who's your professor? Design. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he gave it looks me really like cool. Like Thank I mean, you. I like I like how you're working so passionately in um, the art that you like for a task which you have to do it. I mean, yes. we don't usually, you know, like we said yeah. in, in the beginning, we love to do um, things that we love a lot more than our obligation. Because but this, this one is a mixed one. Yes, this one. I really like this assignment because it's like um, a mixture of what it's you character like. design. Mm -hmm. It's Maybe it's my favorite subject for years mm -hmm. of my university study. It's like, it's my favorite. I see. So that was, um, what was the character? 
There was a beast and then there was a man. Yes, the man uh, have a wolf. It's actually based on the Indonesian comics long ago. Long Maybe ago. you never heard of it. It's probably not. <laughs> Rio the wolf guy. No. The, the wolf man. It's <laughs> he has a son for you know the Sibuta dari gua hantu. I heard of that. Yes. I heard of that. He's the son. Uh, he's oh, the, the son. no. He's the upper apprentice. He's the apprentice. Yeah, apprentice of his. Okay, we're gonna have a next uh, the next photo, the next artwork that you have, Drew. Wow, what's uh, this? It's a fan art of a fan Cre art. Yes, Crazy Costanza. Mm -hmm. uh, she's the frontman of the band called Against the Current. Oh, I heard of that. Yes. I mean, I, I like how the hair looks like. I mean, look at the uh, contrast between the shadow. Why am I talking as if I'm a I'm criticizing it. No. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but it looks really nice. It. I like. I like. I like it. Yeah. I like how there's the contrast of the shadow and the lights there. Mm. Like, look at look at my face. I don't have the contrast there. <laughs> but the drawing does. The drawing well, does. Okay, it's just. Uh, On what occasion like did you draw it? I listen to her a lot. Like, mm -hmm. I really like the band. And sometimes when I listen to music, it's less like, okay. Uh, you feel, the, you feel yes. the kind of feel to draw yes, her. Yes. <laughs> I see. Okay, let's go on to the next slide. Okay. Uh, it's this? just what I said before. This I is your favorite. Yes. Angels. Yes. <laughs> favorite goddess. Last one is IU. And the uh, right side is. Twi it's from a new K pop girl a new brand. Kaipo? It's a new twice. Mm -hmm. Her name is Hana. He's yeah. from, eh, she's from Japan actually. She's from Japan, yes. but she's singing Korean? Yes. Wow, that's a new achievement we have. <laughs> I like how, wow, oh, I don't know, I don't know how, where to start, but it's, ah, oh, wow, so beautiful. Yeah, thank if you. Only, if, only, if only my future husband would draw me like one of her French girls, probably. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's this? Wow, I'm pretty sure my friend will fangirl at this because it's a cool old man there. Yeah, it's... So, what's this? My latest one. It's my last one. It's from mm -hmm. um, it's from my recent assignment. It's my final project for character design. Wow. I design from a novel. Mm -hmm. I visualize it. It's the antagonist actually. Antagonist. Yep. But wow. Wow. he's really looking good, right? Yes. Well, I can't believe that he he he's an antagonist. I would you know antagonize me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, to be honest, I'm as a fan girl, I would love to have him antagonize me. But <laughs> he cheats a lot. Really? Yes, he cheats like a lot. Never mind then. <laughs> Let's go on to the next slide. Mm. Well, so what's this? Um, it was you can see that it's a comparison. Definitely. Yes, it's a comparison, a one year comparison. One year comparison. Yes. Well, look at it's oh this God. almost the Dad. same concept. I uh -huh. think, but the sign the assignment is from a uh, different, a uh, different stuff. Uh, but the concept is really similar. The concept is the same. Yes, but look at the difference. Oh, <laughs> I'm so frustrated. How do you do that? How? Uh, well, I just. I mean, look at that. I mean, the first picture is already so awesome, and then we have the second picture. Wow, that goes like bam, boom. <laughs> there you go. And then, and then you, I don't know, I get a feeling that you're, and this for the second, the latest one, you're like, you know, bam, smack, all the paints, all that, and then done. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> of, of course, course not. <laughs> so, and what program did you use to draw that? Uh, the first one is Adobe Sketchbook uh -huh. for iPad, but later I realized that Photoshop on PC is more suitable for me. I think mm -hmm. it's more for me to grow. Mm -hmm. So, I used Photoshop and I buy a new pen tablet and mm -hmm. practice it like crazy like crazy <laughs> but assignment assignment you know. yes okay so talking about um, Photoshop though so not only do you draw you also learn about the effects right yep I see so we're gonna look at your skills oh. later on okay in the fourth segment we're gonna have a mini game Oh, I mean, okay. I mean, I mean, why not? Why not? We have an artist here. Why not? Um, you know, have a comparison with a potato like me in no. drawing. <laughs> <laughs> no, you will do hmm. great. So, what inspires you to create? Look at so many artworks, other yes. than homework, other than assignment. Um, sometimes assignment doesn't really inspire me. It's like mm -hmm. we I do get that. 
Yes, uh, I I do draw the assignment like uh, I, I have to do this, but let's just get to the fun part. Mm -hmm. I just ignore it. It's it's like an no, it's not an assignment. I just draw it. I just mm -hmm. draw it. So just it's enjoy more. It then. Yes, I just enjoy it's it. More then. for the enjoyment and yes. the pleasure in drawing instead yes. of instead of focusing for this is an assignment. Yes, I don't really care about my marks though. Why? <laughs> I just don't. Maybe because people you gotta say apologize for your dad. <laughs> dad, I'm sorry. I'm not doing a good job in assignment. <laughs> but I will well, say sorry to my dad too if I, you know, do kind of badly. I did kind of badly during the midterm, <laughs> and I and I said sorry in a yeah. letter I sent for him, and he's sorry. like, never mind. Yeah, just focus. Okay. Just focus. Well, we love our dads, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> so, usually, how long does it take for you to create an art? To create one mm -hmm. piece, mm -hmm. um, it one depends sketch. on just a portrait or just or the battle scene, like a uh, previous one. Is one what about portrait? For portrait, it's usually takes a little, like five or four year, four hours. Five is little. Well, no, I mean it's more. Uh, for the battle scene, it's like twelve hours. For the battle scene, because do you not sleep? Well, I rarely sleep at all. Mm, <laughs> okay, okay, I won't question that a lot more because probably it might, you know, open a little bit wounds in the backs. past. I don't want to look at that because <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty obvious <laughs> now. <laughs> so, are you open for commission? Well, this is a, a golden chance for viewers if you want to commission him to draw well, your lover for a <laughs> or something. I do open for commission, and I'm I actually m me and my friends are open for commission. At mm -hmm. you go to Comic Fur, Comic Frontier. Yes. Yes, I'm. I will be there. You will be there. Yes. Said so I'm. I, I will not be there, but my work will be there. Okay. Because I, I, I pass my works to my friend, and my friend is going to be there, uh -huh. and my friend is going to help me sell my works. Okay. It's a general fanfic comp compilation oh, by the good. latest um, Japanese browser game, okay. um, Tokyo Rambo. Oh, I know. I write uh, three short stories. It was not exactly short there. Yeah. It was kind of I'll hard to it. write it. Three stories inside one book, and then you get mm. extra um, bookmark for it. And right. the cover is by my friend who drew the webtoon as well. Ah, oh, I know, I know. I don't want to, I don't want to brag here because <laughs> I'm keeping my identity low there. <laughs> so, so how much does it cost you for one commission? Let's say, draw me a portrait. Uh, for a portrait, so you want it traditional or mm -hmm. digital? Digital? The, I mean for digital, it's like um, ranging from 200 to 400. 200 to 400. Yes. What about the traditional though? The traditional is more expensive because Ooh, <laughs> I expected I expect that traditional will be cheaper. No, the uh, traditional will always be like a lot for more expensive. Yes, because for digital sometimes you can sell prints mm -hmm. and you can print it again, right? Mm -hmm. Even if it's you call it a special edition, mm -hmm. uh, well, you can always print it again if you want. Well, and yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, but for the traditional art it's like one go. And mm -hmm. that's boom, it. that's it. Mm, I see. So about commission though, what's the highest price that you have got so far? I've got the highest part. If you don't mind opening cards here. That's, that's okay. But uh, <laughs> for the highest, actually it's not for illustration. It's, it was, uh, it's, it's still an illustration, illustration, but for shirt design. For shirt design. Yes, it's, I've earned that one. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> One million? Wow! Wow! But it's just one. It's just one. W one million is wow. But whoa, it's whoa, always whoa, whoa, efficient whoa, 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 and efficient. Whoa, we calm down there with the price <laughs> bit. <laughs> okay, apparently we have come to the end of this segment. This segment, we still have another segment okay. which we are going to play a game, mini game. So stay tuned at face to face.
hi there viewers, we're at the fourth segment and we're going to have a competition. Well, not exact competition. <laughs> 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 so here we have Mr. Mario to, you know, test. Yes. We're going to have a, a skill test, test. here. <laughs> okay. So we have two papers here, each of us. We have one and then we have pencils. He, I, I thought I was going to lend him this one, the pink one, the beautiful one, but he uh, said no. no. So we exchange <laughs> our pencil. So the rules are simple. Okay. We're going to look at each other and we're going to draw each other without looking at the paper. Oh, Easy, okay. right? But <laughs> I can't look at the paper? No, you can't look at the paper. Oh, man. If you look at the paper, you have to stop. If I look, I have to stop drawing. Yes, that's it. Okay. Okay, so are we going to start? Okay. <laughs> okay. Three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so nervous. I mean, um, there's a master in front of me. I can't probably I mess up. I will go good. <laughs> okay. I usually make so much mistakes. Mm, mm. Me too. <laughs> we don't have undo here. Yes. Okay, so let's start. Three, two, one. I'm so nervous. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know where am I. Me too. <laughs> I'm sorry if this turns out like a potato. Me too. <laughs> because it will really, really... Uh, Did you just look at your paper? I looked, but I stopped, like you said. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I have to stop looking at the paper. Is it two minutes yet? Nope, I think. Two minutes is pretty long. Yes. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm drawing though. I don't know where the nose goes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know too. Well, uh, let's add extra let's effects. Mm -hmm. mm. Right at the corner. <laughs> if it turns out to be like... Whoa. I forgot to draw your mouth. <laughs> Wait, I think I drew my mouth. I haven't drew your eyes. Wait, I have to stop looking at the paper. Okay, stop yes. looking at the paper. Okay. It's a habit, I know. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what to draw next. Um, it's just like shades. Shades at your clothes, I guess. Because this is your neck. It will not. The results are like... <laughs> I don't know. Is it two minutes yet? I don't think so. No? It's not two minutes yet. I don't know what to draw again. I don't know where I'm drawing. Like, really. <laughs> I'm drawing an eye, but I think it's on your nose or something. Mm. Are you going to give me a mustache? No. But no, maybe. Please. No. <laughs> Okay, time's up. Time's up. Stop. Okay. Okay. It will really look, look really, really bad. Okay, we're gonna exchange this okay. and face it to the camera. <laughs> 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 so, uh, one by one, okay? okay? So, this is what I got from Mario. <laughs> Can the camera zoom in? Is it visible? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so th that's me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's me. <laughs> okay, next one. <laughs> I don't know what it comes. Oh my god. At least yours better. <laughs> yours better. <laughs> yours better than mine. It looks like a Oh my yours god. Yours better than mine. <laughs> you look like a giant. But you <laughs> the eyes are correct on the correct place. Mine are not. Look. God. I suck so bad. <laughs> oh my god, this is fun. Okay. We need to invite more artists to <laughs> do this. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Okay. It's <laughs> See, I told you I look like potato. <laughs> it's just <laughs> the eyes goes I on your like ears. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> my eyebrows, though. <laughs> it's literally another entity there. <laughs> so. <laughs> Apparently, this is the <laughs> end of today's talk. Okay. I'm going to make a little bit conclusion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Better cover this up <laughs> so I don't mess up. <laughs> okay. So, 
you you first met art was when your father taught you yes. how to do art, how uh, you know criticize you a lot, and then um, you got passion or interest in semi-realism or realism is when you saw fan arts of people doing yes. real semi-realism yep. and then you believe that um, traditional is a lot better than digital mm. or is it the same? It's the same but you know it's harder on it's the harder traditional. It's harder on traditional, yes. I see. And then your commission price is ba definitely harder, um, higher at the traditional and yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then digital is a lot more cheaper because you can still reprint, reprint, and yes. reprint. And then you have, what was that? You like to draw idols. Yep. <laughs> Is that essential though? Mm, <laughs> essential for you. Like, Definitely. yes. And you like to draw a lot of fantasy stuff. And then you're in animation and you like it. Yes. Well, like not it. exactly like the assignments, I believe. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much it. But I still have one question though, if I may. What is your view towards um, Indonesia market for artists? Do you think Indonesia has a good market for artists? I Do you think, think we're going in the right way to success for artists, more appreciation? That's just what the, uh, I'm asking that myself, you know. You're asking every that day. yourself? Every day? Why? Yes, because I, ha I haven't concluded that yet, but for the market in Indonesia, it's just more like people tend to criticize mm -hmm. just criticize blindly without thinking mm -hmm. everything they think they know everything mm -hmm. but they don't uh, and some people just like manipulate the photos so it, it ah, becomes yeah. like more like you know deleting the yes. watermarks and stuff you know yes and the wa and the watermark is just the problem here mm -hmm. they delete yeah, the watermarks and they re-upload it like yes, we do it's have by me lot. yes mm -hmm. So in conclusion, we in Indonesia doesn't have a good reputation yes. for the market. Not but we have a lot of artists, right? Yes. Quite a lot, like you, like like my friend, and then like Nicholas. Like yes. That's you know, yeah. just um. A lot. Well, yes, we have a lot. lot. Like There's a lot. I like how we Indonesians have a lot of traditional artists instead of digital. Why? I don't know. I don't know. But I like that. Yes. And then we don't have the exact um, appreciation yes. yet. Yeah. Well, in America, yeah. for one piece like this, you can get like four hundred dollars. Not that piece, I think. <laughs> probably this piece. You yes, can get like probably this piece. It's like hundred dollars. <laughs> I can't do make it. Okay, so it's been a really good talk. I like I like this drawing. Yes. No. <laughs> I like Please. it. I will give you more appropriate one. <laughs> thank you. So thank you for coming. Yes, thank you thank for you. Be for being my guest. Thank yep. you so much. It's been a really great talk. So. Yeah, thank you for viewers for watching this. Um, I appreciate it a lot. Thank you for keeping the views up. <laughs> I hope you don't get bored with my face. I like, I mean, I look like potato literally. So <laughs> thank you for the crews for making everything nice and clean. So I love you all. Thank you, and see you next week. Bye. Bye.